Hello and welcome to beautiful Dinner Bay Disc Golf Course on Main Island, British Columbia. Today we have Jeff McPherson and Rowan McGee teeing off. Here we are on the first hole. This is Jeff McPherson. Jeff's shot looks pretty nice. It looks like it settled up inside the circle. Here's Rowan. Looks like he may have caught the tree. And he has this putt for his birdie. And the comebacker. Oh no, just chained out. Left side. Taps in a bogey. And there's Jeff with his birdie to go one under. Hole two. That looks like it took a nice kick inside the circle. And Rowan McGee coming up a little short. Looks like he's got an edge of the circle putt here. And he makes it. And this is Jeff McPherson for his birdie putt as well. No doubt yeah, about that one. Oh. Hole three. Right behind the trees up there. Looks like Jeff navigated that well. Oh, Rowan with maybe a bit of a late release. Here he is from outside the circle. Uh, didn't commit to that one. And here he is to save par. Well done there. And here is Jeff to tap in his third straight birdie to start the round. And no doubt about that. Hole four, this is the longest hole on the course. Dog leg to the right. Looks like Jeff got way out there. And here's Rowan. What's he throwing here? Uh, sting stingray. Looks like he turned over a stingray. That looked like a great shot. Just clipped the trees. Just clipped a tree. Long up shot. And that settled in right near circle's edge. This is Jeff with a long look at the birdie. And just a layup. Rowan for par here. Uh, just a little bit low. And Jeff tapping out his par. And another bogey for Rowan. That leaves him at no one, doubt about it. one over par. Hole five. That's Jeff with his Sexton Firebird. That looked pretty good. Should be well inside the circle. What's Rowan throwing here? Stingray. Turn that over a little too early. And he's got a death putt here. Is he going to run this? Probably. Yes, he does. Oh, he did run it and he's punished. He's all the way down the hill. Big comebacker. Oh, not a bad, oh, and it's rolling, it's that. Not a bad bid. Ooh, that was high from Jeff. And Rowan taps in another bogey. Oh, he doesn't like it. He's telling it to get right. It looks like it got right a little bit. Might have rolled his wrist there. Here's Rowan with a big backhand throw. Fading out a little early on him. What disc is that that Rowan's throwing there? Here? Or? On the tee shot. The Leopard 3. Oh, that's a DX Leopard 3 that Rowan was throwing. Didn't quite commit on it. Here's Jeff with an outside the circle look for a birdie. Not enough. That looked like it came out on a bit of a hyzer angle. But tapping in an easy par. Ooh, and Rowan committed to that putt. This is hole seven. Jeff's gonna show us the big outside around the tree shot. Came out a little anheuser, but it looks like it faded around and he should have a birdie putt. Straight into oh, the ground. Oh goodness, yep. Straight into the ground. Now this is a big shot. 
and that one turned on him a little bit. This is going to be a very tricky putt for par. And not quite. But he makes good on the bogey putt. And this is Jeff for his birdie to go five under. And it's in. This is the tunnel hole, the high school hallway it's called. Oh, and it looks like Jeff caught one of the bullies along the outside there. Oh, and that's a great shot from Rowan. Just a little bit of edge on it, and he is going to be tapping in a birdie. Jeff putting from outside the circle here. Oh, no. No commitment. Came out on a hyzer angle. But he's going to have just a little tap in here for his par. Is. And Rowan tapping in this easy birdie putt. That he normally missed. Oh, this one, he avoided those trees, but it looks like he faded out. Is he going to be stuck in the, that grouping of trees there? Jeff's turned this a little bit too. Looked like he got a favorable kick though. And oh my goodness, Rowan is way down in the field. Oh my, what a run from all of 45 feet. Chained out on the left-hand side. Here's Jeff, tucked in behind a bush. It's a major obstacle there. Oh, and it's that hyzer release again. And Rowan drops in for a nice par. Hole 10. Ooh, that's turning and it's that's turned right into the forest. He's gonna be in trouble back there. Here's Jeff. Looks like a drone in his hand. Oh my god. And what has he done there? Oh he's visiting Rowan back in the forest there somewhere. What kind of look does Rowan have here? Nice layup. Nice little layup for Rowan. And you can't see Jeff back in there in the forest. Oh no, he's got his little Lay up underneath the brush there. No. Oh dear, and it's rolling. That one cut right through the chains. Fortunately, it didn't take its edge and roll too far, and Rowan cashes in another bogey, and Jeff saves his bar. Hole 11, this is a short little one. Little ace run, really. And Jeff will be happy with that. It came up a little high, got caught up in some branches and dropped. Should be an easy birdie putt. Rowan's gonna run this, you know he is. Looks like a putter in his hand. Yeah. Oh, and what a great shot that great is. Shot. Nice and easy up the middle. He's gonna be putting for birdie. Here's Jeff for his birdie. Nicely done. And Rowan drops it in, showing him how it's done. Hole 12, one of the trickier holes. Tunnel shot with a bunch of trees in the middle. Here's Jeff's shot. Looks like it got all the way up there and through the gap. And Rowan's shot, this looks fantastic. Looks like he made it all the way through as well. And here you see the gap in the trees that both those discs navigated through. Let's see where they've ended up. You can see Rowan's Leopard 3 there. Oh, and Jeff is way back there. Edge of the circle with a death putt. It drops right off behind the basket. Oh dear. And he just smacked a tree with that putt. He's going to have work to do to save his par. Here's Rowan for his birdie. And he misses. Oh, <laughs> no, and it's down the hill, and he's running to see where that thing went. Oh, and did he just hit the first tree? It's way down there. Oh, and this is his third putt. Oh, no, you don't see this from Rowan. This is his fourth putt now, and you can see it on his face. He's not happy. 
<laughs> and that one finally sticks, but barely. My goodness, that was tough for Rowan. Five. After like five bogeys. And Jeff cashed his par. This is hole 12. A very tricky S-line shot. Jeff looked like he got right up there. Really nice shot. Bit of an Anheuser forehand. And Rowan showing us the backhand line. Sit. Oh, he's right up there too. Oh my goodness, look at this. Both players with absolute drop-ins. Showing you how this hole's done with the forehand and the backhand line. What disc did Rowan throw on that hole? Three. That's that trusted blue Try leopard three he has. On Hole 11, short little, kind of tunnelish shot. Jeff want, wants to run oh. this. Oh, but he looked like he rolled his wrist a little bit there. This is a nice shot from Rowan. Oh, Ooh. he kicked a tree up by the basket. Should have a putt. Stance? Here's sure. Jeff. This looks like a tricky yeah. spot. He's got to go around some trees here. Oh, and he caught a branch that kicked him, right? Oh, no. And once again, it's those left side chains for Rowan. But taps in an easy par. And looks like Jeff's going to do the same here. Hole 15. It's a little dog leg to the right. This looks good. He's asking it to fade. I think it sat there. Oh, that disc is turning. What disc is that that he's throwing? Same one. Uh, good stingray. Nick. Throwing the stingray. It turned over on him. Jeff taps in a birdie. Thank you, and Rowan taps in a par. Well done. This is our island hole, hole 16. Jeff with his sextant Don't firebird skip. again. That Ooh. came in hot, but I think it's stuck on the on the island. Oh no. Oh, B. Oh, and it didn't come back. Kicked out. <clears throat> Here's Rowan from our drop zone. Trying to save par, and he went for it. And lucky oh, bounce, he kicked back off of the outside of the island and sat right under the basket. Very fortunate there for Rowan. Here's Jeff for par. For birdie, sorry. Well done there. A little high, but it's stuck. And the unconventional tap in from Rowan. What is he doing there? Hole 17. Tricky shot for a forehand player. And Jeff's kicked a tree. Rowan will show us the more conventional backhand line. There it is. This hole's tricky because really it goes well right done. down into a pit. Nice shot. But it looks like Rowan is right down there in the pit. Yeah. He'll be putting for birdie. Oh, Jeff with a tricky little shot. Ooh, he didn't commit to the Anheuser there. And now, easy putt for his par. Oh dear. Caged out and he's gonna have to make almost the same putt again. No mistake this time. But that's his first bogey of the round. Here's Roan for the birdie. Oh no. He's just not been on his putting game all round. Oh, and there's a good putt to save the par. Here we are. Hole 18. Ooh, in the roll. Did he hit one of those new tree cages? Looks like he just faded too early. So Jeff, oh dear, that just got Whose up on him. He wants to put an ace run on this hole every time. <laughs> and now he is down here in this pit, surrounded by the brand new tree cages put in by the disc golf club. And he's got no look at a putt. He's going to have to try this. Anheuser forehand for his birdie. Oh. There's one of mine too. No good. Didn't commit to that one at all. And here is where the camera battery died as Rowan was about to putt in for par. Rowan putted in for par and Jeff putted in for par. And all in all, it was a good round. 
beautiful day out there at the main island disc golf course as always we'll see you next time goodbye